Hello everyone, and welcome back for our Twin Sons gameplay stream. I'm your host Xander, and I'm joined today by three lovely game designers, one of whom you might not have just met yet. So, I'll go around the room and let everybody introduce themselves before we get started. Hey, uh, I'm John Leo. I'm one of the game designers for Star Wars Unlimited. I'm Joe O'Neill, one of the game designers for Star Wars Unlimited. We're different people. We are, despite our name similarity. <laughs> Uh, and as you may have guessed, uh, I am Ryan, uh, and I'm also a game designer for Star Wars Unlimited, as well as being uh, the rules admiral for the game. The rules admiral, yes. <laughs> so, Ryan, you've never joined us on stream yet. I'm not. But this was always the plan. We wanted you here for this. We wanted you to be able to explain the rules. Uh, of course, if you tune into the community celebration this weekend, uh, you might have seen you know, us go over the rules and play a game there. But today is mostly to get a little more into the depth or in depth about the rules, because you know, Saturday was just kind of like an appetizer. We wanted to make sure that you all got a taste of what the game was like. <laughs> and now we're going to jump in and really dive into why some design choices were made, uh, why these three and others on the project uh, like worked so hard on it, and why it's important that uh, there's a multiplayer format for this game. So I'll let Ryan take away on what are the rules of Twin Suns for those who were not with us on Saturday. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so Twin Suns is our format for playing the game when you want to play with more than two players. Uh, there are unique deck building constraints as well as unique rules uh, to aid in the game. Um, so I guess we'll start with deck building. Yeah, um, yeah. So uh, the name Twin Suns comes from the fact that each deck of a Twin Suns game uh, has two leaders instead of just one. So you start with two leaders and one base. You'll see that I have uh, Grand Moff Tarkin and Boba Fett as my leaders today. We'll talk about why I chose those as well as everyone else's decks pretty soon. Um, so you'll start with two leaders. Uh, you can deploy them as normally. You can have both leaders in play if you manage to deploy them both. Um, you can deploy one and then deploy the other one later. Um, however you want to do it, but you do have access to both of those leaders. Uh, both of those leaders also provide you with their aspects. Um, so you can run uh, cards in three aspects. So for example, my deck uh, runs uh, aggression, command, cunning, and villainy. Uh, the one restriction on those two leaders you choose is that they both have to either be villainous or heroic. Uh, you cannot pick one villainous and one heroic leader and put them together. Um, so uh, that's deck construction. Uh, you, we're going to start with uh, year one. is going to have a 50 card minimum deck. Uh, and then once we get to year two with the drop of set four, uh, we will bump that up to 80 cards and it will be 80 card uh, format going forward. Um, it is also a singleton format, which means that you can only include a maximum of one copy of each card in your deck. Uh, so no multiples, no three super laser blasts, John. Come on! <laughs> Um, so uh, we're really excited to release the format to y'all and see what kind of crazy things uh, y'all end up putting into it. Um, that covers all of deck construction, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, so let's move into how to actually play the game. So the game, for the most part, follows the rules uh, of a normal Star Wars Unlimited game. Um, you've got uh, your actions, you can play cards, you can attack. Um, when you're attacking, you can choose to attack whoever you'd like. Um, you can play down sentinels that will protect your base. Um, a sentinel in an arena just protects your own base and your own units. It does not prevent uh, units from attacking other players' units. Um, you, uh, at the end of your turn, uh, you know, at the end of the round when you're done taking actions, uh, you can choose to uh, take an available counter instead of just taking the initiative counter. Um, so we have two new uh, counters that are available to take, and I think we might have a graphic to put them up. Um, so along with the normal taking of the initiative counter, you can also take the blast counter or the plan counter. Um, the initiative counter, as usual, means that you will start as the first player to take an action in the following round. Um, it will then proceed clockwise from you. Uh, if you take the blast counter, you will immediately deal one damage to each other player's base. And if you take the plan counter, uh, you get to draw a card and then put any card from your hand, including the one you just drew, on the bottom of your deck. Uh, so once all three of those counters have been taken, and then if there's a fourth player, they pass, uh, that is the end of uh, the round and you proceed to the next round. Um, the player with initiative usually hangs on to the initiative counter, and the other two counters will go back to the middle of the play area. Um, I want to clear up one small confusion point that's happened. Uh, once there is only one player left in a four-player game, and all counters have been taken, uh, that player may choose to pass and end the round whenever they would like. They are not required to uh, make sure that they exhaust all possible actions. Um, so important to clarify that. Um, so those are the counters. Um, and then we get to the end game, which is perhaps the most exciting uh, of all of the aspects of this format. Um, so in the end game, uh, as soon as one player is eliminated, um, which means that uh, damage on their base equals their base's health, uh, they are then um, 
obviously out of the game. Um, however, the game will end at the end of that round, uh, so they won't be out of the game for too long. Um, at the end of that round, whichever player has the most remaining health on their base uh, will be the winner. Um, so there's a lot of jockeying for position, and you want to make sure if you take a player out of the game that you will be able to win the game at the end of that round, um, which is not always guaranteed. Um, when a player is eliminated, in order to encourage uh, players to make that strike, to, to pull the trigger, so to speak, uh, there is uh, a five health bonus. So if you take out a player, it's say I take out Xander in this game, um, which, you know, sorry in advance <laughs> I if I do, uh, but say I take out Xander in the game, I then immediately get to heal five damage from my base. Uh, and that is holds true if I eliminate any other players afterwards, or if other players eliminate me. Um, so that'll be the end of the round, uh, and the end of the game will happen uh, once everyone has passed that final round. Um, any other things about the end of the game? I think that mostly covers the rules. Yes. Did we talk about something? healing? Yeah. Yes, the five. That's five very important. Yes. Yes. It's, it's yes. really important. Yes. That, that uh, really game. changes. Games go on forever without it. Yeah, yeah. Re really changes the end game math, yeah. Uh, I know that we got a question about the, you know, the tokens, but I was going to just mention that uh, if you were in a bound Saturday, we have the official article as well as the format page up for Twin Suns on the website where you can download a principal version of the Blast and Counter, or Blast and Play Encounters. Uh, and so, yeah, make sure that you check those out as, you know, you start showing up to Twin Suns games at your local store come March. Yeah. Um, but oh, we have a couple questions that I have seen in the community. We had stuff from this weekend that we wanted to just clarify or give a little more insight into before we get into the game. So, first of all, why two leaders? Why, why not one leader similar to, you know, the Premier format or Draft or Sealed? Well... I'll take this one if you don't mind. Um, first and foremost, it's cool and fun. We've had a <laughs> lot of fun <clears throat> imagining what combos of leaders that you can pair together, either for thematic reasons or for gameplay. Some synergize really well and let you do some things you would never be able to do in a single player game. And then two, uh, for deck building, especially in set one, there are not that many cards when you have to build singleton. Uh, this will give you access to an extra aspect um, with two leaders and a base. You can get three aspects total, and you can actually build a deck with some constraints rather than grabbing every single card in an aspect because you were forced to because you only had two. Um, so those are the main reasons, if I didn't miss anything. Makes sense. Uh, so why are there new counters? Uh, was the initiative counter not enough for this game? Was there something missing that you like this filled that hole or what, what's up with the new counters? I can take that. Um, in a game with about four players, um, it's often going to come down to um, players having uh, a, a difference in tempo from the two player game. Mm -hmm. um, in a two player game, um, a lot of what makes it interesting and special is um, one player may be giving up actions in order to take the initiative and make sure they can go early. Um, we wanted to carry over some of that decision space to the four-player game, but we wanted to make sure that you know if, if in a two-player game half the players can take the initiative, um, in a four-player game only 25% of the players can. Um, so we wanted to raise that uh, the amount of decision space that was available. Um, and also, just by adding new counters, we open up um, additional strategies. So by taking the Blast token, you can um, deal more damage across the board, and that puts a little bit of a clock on the game. Uh, or if you really need a certain card, you can take that Plan token. Mm -hmm. And um, I think it just adds a little bit more uh, of a tactical feeling to each round, uh, especially toward the end of the round. Oh, yeah. It, it yeah. definitely does in the games that I've played of, like, getting the plan counter and just getting to search for that card that I've been looking for the whole game. Maybe that super laser blast that you've been looking for. <laughs> uh, feels really nice. Yeah. Uh, another rule that I've seen questions about is, so why is there no soft pass of, like, I'll pass and let's see what's going to happen um, mm -hmm. as it uh, goes around the board? Uh, sure, I can, I can answer this one. Um, yeah, so soft passing is a very important strategic part of Star Wars Unlimited in a two-player game. Um, but we found through testing that in a four-player game, uh, it simply makes the game too long uh, and strategically complicated. Uh, every player will think about whether they want to pass, perhaps for a little bit, and then decide to soft pass, move to the next player. It could go John, pass, pass, action, pass, <laughs> pass, pass, action. It just gets a little too long. Um, and because uh, you don't want to be the first person to pull the trigger on attacking someone, leaving yourself vulnerable, um, it often turns out that uh, passing ends up being really good in a four-player game. Um, so you can try to go second or third or even fourth in a turn. Um, so forcing you to take actions on your turn 
um, makes the game uh, go a lot smoother and quicker, um, but also makes uh, the, some of those strategic decisions um, more forced. Um, if I want to get an attack in on a round, I have to make that attack. I can't just wait for the exact perfect time after everyone else has taken an action. Very cool. Uh, just a couple more questions here that we had. Uh, so this is a great one. Uh, when a player is eliminated, are their units defeated are, and their cards removed from the game? Simple answer to that, yes. Uh, any cards that they own are removed from the game, and sometimes that leads to two interesting shenanigans, like a traitorous might all of a sudden disappear if that player gets knocked out. I stole their unit, I knocked them out, oh no, I lost that really cool thing that I stole. So you do want to pay attention to things like that, and upgrades like Entrenched, that could go on enemy units as well. Uh, I, I will clarify, I think that um, if the question is asking about whether, for example, it fires all of the when defeated. Uh, cards are not defeated for the purposes of yes. triggered abilities. Uh, they are removed from the game, and so uh, the game state can change as a result of that, um, but they are not considered, uh, all the cards are not considered defeated for uh, the purpose of triggers. Yes. So for Important the idea of like, I have Dodana out there giving all the rebels plus one, plus one, and that's keeping one of John's units alive. That is removed, but it, like, so that could trigger the, de or the defeat of John's unit, but it does not trigger any on defeats or anything like that. Yeah, if the Donna affected enemy units. If Joe Donna, yeah. yes. Oh, yes, yes. That's what <laughs> yes, yeah. But yes, if you had uh, some unit that was keeping another player's units alive, that unit would be removed from the game and no longer be applying its buff. Yep, mm -hmm. makes sense. Yeah. Cool. So we have a couple other questions, but we'll get to them as we get started because I am dying to get this game going. Uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and switch down to the top down cam, and uh, you all can rotate around the table and we'll get. Get to shuffling. Should we explain which uh, decks we brought to them? Absolutely. Let's get into it. You can go first. You know, you, you kind of got into uh, the leaders you brought, so let's talk about it a little more. Uh, absolutely, yeah. So I am playing, if you can see, I'm over here. Um, I am playing with Grand Moff Tarkin, uh, Boba Fett as my two leaders, and Kestra City, uh, a 30 health uh, regular uh, red base, uh, aggression base. Um, my goal for building uh, this particular Twin Suns deck is no rares and no legendaries. Uh, so the entire deck that I've Oof. built here uh, is all commons and uncommons, including my base. A um, couple different reasons for that. Uh, one is to hopefully take the heat off of me as a potential player. I think a lot of uh, Twin Suns is about the politicking and being able to um, say without a doubt that I have uh, you know, no special rare crazy cards that are going to um, totally change things. I have no super laser blasts, anything like that. Um, is a way of hopefully uh, making me feel like less of a threat at the table. Um, Grim of Tarkin and Boba Fett uh, particularly uh, work very well together. Um, Boba Fett uh, uh, leader ability says when an enemy unit leaves play, you may exhaust this leader and if you do ready a resource. Um, however, sometimes in a two-player game that uh, resource doesn't always happen because either you can't use it or because uh, there aren't always enemy units leaving play. In a four-player game, there are a lot more enemy units that could leave play, so there are a lot of more opportunities to trigger that. Um, and Grand Moff Tarkin, whose action uh, costs a resource, means that I always have a place to use that resource. Uh, so they kind of work really well together. Uh, and this is one of my favorite leader combos in the game for Twin Sons. Love it. Uh, I could go next. I had no idea what I wanted to run. So uh, <laughs> last night I was asking around. Uh, I decided to, you know, I was really happy with my Krennic and... Uh, Grand Inquisitor deck this weekend, despite uh, getting last in that game, unfortunately. Uh, I was happy with how it turned out, but I went with Han and Cassian Andor. Uh, I was trying to figure out a base, and then I realized how fun Saw Guerrero would be in a Twin Suns game. And so I was like, absolutely, let's bring him in. Uh, and I picked Kestra City as my base. Uh, basically looking to let Han, or play Han and, uh, you know, not every turn use his ability, but on those, turn, those off turns when I don't need it. Uh, use casting to refill my hand and make sure that I'm not falling behind uh, in that aspect of things. And hopefully, you know, they both come out at six, so that's going to be a fun turn, if I make it that long. <laughs> <laughs> I think you will. Um, I can talk about my deck. Um, I'm over here. Um, I am playing um, my very favorite leader in the game, uh, Emperor Palpatine. And you know I had to bring that showcase Palpatine. It's <laughs> looking so fresh over here. Um, I really love this card, and for me, um, my Twin Suns deck is a lot about like just personal expression and playing like the, the cards that excite me and the variants of cards that excite me. So you're going to be seeing lots of hyperspace foiling, you're going to be seeing all the coolest looking cards, all the empirically coolest cards. Um, <laughs> and uh, strategy wise, um, uh, I have Iden Versio as my uh, other leader, um, one of my uh, sort of targeted plays is deploying her um, and then immediately 
slamming a super laser blast on my next turn to heal my base for whatever the number of units in play is, um, it's it can be a lot. <laughs> it's degenerate. <laughs> uh, speak for yourself, buddy. I'm also the only player uh, swagged out with a rare base, uh, I might note. So I'm starting with a little bit uh, less maximum health on my base, and that's technically a handicap. So uh, take it easy on me, fellas. Oh, no. That no. Just, the no put a target on your back immediately for me, personally. Play, playing this card already put a target on my back. <laughs> That's just how I live my life. You know, my, my, my swag is too real. You're going to defeat me. It's fine. All right. So uh, similar to a few other points that uh, everyone else here made, um, Xander talked about Saw Gerrera and that being a really cool, fun, exciting card to have. Mm -hmm. Uh, as soon as that comes out, we are not going to let that happen. So we're all going <laughs> to team up on Saw and make sure we don't have to pay that damage cost. That's right. So what unit in the game uh, could be ganged up on and not die? We have Churret, who is not going to be defeated until the regroup phase as long as he's in play. This is extra valuable during Twin Suns because I have to wait three whole actions to get back to my leader here before I can do anything. Um, I have a much more reliable leader than everyone else, so I normally would keep this a surprise, but they all know my strategy anyway, is to throw as many lightsabers on him as I can get and <laughs> hope for a giant swing. Uh, Hera is in this deck because she can make my lightsaber beast even bigger by on attack giving experience points. That's her main purpose. They're both rebels, so there's some rebel synergy there too. Um, but otherwise, I just want to have a big leader and be a big threat at the board, which will also paint a giant target on my back. So it does not always work, but boy, is it fun. Mm. How do we get rid of the cheer? Or do we all have a <laughs> game don't. plan? <laughs> like, <laughs> we should be you know, think, thinking about that. That happens pretty early. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and get into it. Did we decide who the first player is going to be? Uh, I think Ryan should go first, not only because I would go second then, uh, but also because <laughs> it's Ryan's first time on stream. So yeah. I, I think, you know, or, or otherwise we randomize it. Um, yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm not going to say no to going yeah, first. That's let's do fine it. with me. I do believe clockwise. Oh, yeah, clockwise. Go oh last, no, Xander. I go last. <laughs> I'm willing to do that. I'm willing to do that. I'm How's your team. petard, Xander? Yeah. <laughs> How's it feel? It, that's okay. Mm. Uh, Understandable. God. Are the mulligan oh. rules the same in Twin Suns? Mulligan rules are the same in the Twin Suns. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> um, drawing uh, only one playable unit makes me happy for that as well. I might keep this. I'm going to enjoy a mulligan, and we're not counting the one I did uh, earlier. Oh, we are absolutely <laughs> counting No, that. sorry. Yeah. I already on, shuffled away my hand, so. On camera. Don't know what you want. Oh, man. This is a really good hand, especially because we're playing Joe. Uh, no. But I, no. <laughs> I know what you have. I, oh, you know. no, you're about to get bamboozled. No. Yeah, it's fine. It's I'm going to dig for regional governor. <laughs> I will um, make a note for my fans that uh, I am playing sleeved cards today because these cards belong to me. Um, last time I was on stream, it was draft cards, and I wasn't sure if they would ever belong to me. Yeah. Decided, you know... Tighten up a little bit for the stream. Take that showcase out of its sleeve. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> I, I barely take it out of the safe deposit box of the bank, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm ready. I am too. Ready to go? Yeah. Let's do it. Uh, my first action is going to be exhausting a resource to put a Greedo here on the ground. Um, I'm also going to note, note that, uh, for those of you watching, in case you can't see it, we put all four of the ground arenas here in the middle and all of the space arenas on these outside lanes. Um, this kind of makes us feel like we're playing on a one big planet with the space around it, which was fun to us, so uh, that's how we've constructed it. <laughs> I'm glad you brought that up, because I was going to. Here's this initiative for you. All right, my first move is just to play Chopper. We got some specters. Um, nice, Chopper. Okay, oh. so it's my action, huh? I, you know, I hate to do this, but I think I need to play, take the plan token Ooh. early. So I'm gonna draw a card from my hand, and then I have to put a card on the bottom of my deck. Hmm, okay. We are gonna put 
that card on the bottom of my deck. And we're going to feel really good about this decision. Ooh. All right. I don't feel good about my decision, but I'm going to use Han's ability to give myself a little resource. Exciting. Yeah, exciting. Um, Got to play with three. I will exhaust my second uh, resource here um, and pay for a recruit. Uh, recruit allows me to search the top five cards in my deck for a unit, reveal it, and draw it. Uh, whenever you search, uh, all the cards that you do not choose go on the bottom of your deck. So I'm going to do that. Uh, Joe, feel free to go while I'm looking for this. Everyone take one damage. Oh uh, no, do we just get blasted? You got blasted. blasted. Bummer. All right, and you took the plan. All right, I, you know, really like that Spectre idea, so I'm going to bring out Ezra Bridger. Whoa, Ezra Bridger. Yeah. He's, he's got a really cool ability. I do like his ability. So when this unit completes an attack, look at the top card of your deck. You may play it, discard it, or leave it on top of your deck. So I am going to be making sure my hand is perfectly sculpted. That's the spirit. It, it's what I'm hoping for, at least. I don't know if it's going to be true. Um, it's back to me, and I have uh, no further actions to take, so I will uh, reclaim the initiative to go first in the following round. All right, and I'm going to pass. So now we'll go to the regroup phase, huh? Yep, regroup phase it is. Draw two. Oh, yeah. Mm. We're cooking. <laughs> <laughs> what are you cooking with over there? Yeah. Um, so uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I hate to resource this hyperspace foil rugged survivors, oh. <laughs> but they've been resourced. And I hate to resource an upgrade, but I've got plans <laughs> and dreams. I'm going to dash them immediately. Is everyone resourced and ready to go for round two? Let's rock. Uh, I have to defeat a resource. Oh, oh yeah, what are you to. defeating? Uh, the Disabling Fang Fighter. <laughs> that is out of character for you. <laughs> it is out of character for me. Uh, it was a real bummer to resource it, but I had big plans, big hopes and dreams. Uh, fantastic. Uh, I will take, uh, as my very first action, pay all three resources to put a 7th Fleet Defender uh, here in the Space Arena. It is a 3-2 shielded uh, Imperial. I'm going to put a little awesome shield token on it. Is that a nice game genic branded shield token over there? Uh, it is indeed, John. We're all playing with them today. I yeah, we've yeah. got oh, yeah. boxes all around the table. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm getting mighty scared of that Greedo, so I'm going to use Chirrut's ability to give a chopper plus two HP. We will just use that as my uh, reminder. Yeah, my Chirrut reminder. I love that. I will play uh, the mustachioed man himself, Colonel Ularen. Uh, and he is an Imperial guy, uh, his stats are 2-3, and when I play a green unit, or a command unit, including this one, I can heal one damage from my base. So I'll go ahead and do that. Hmm. Well, I think I'm going to have to put three more damage on your base. Oh, come on. Ezra. Yeah. I just I, got it off. <laughs> I need to do damage to base, specifically the number three, as much as possible uh, <laughs> because of Cassian's ability. Uh, but yeah, when this unit completes an attack, I'm going to look at the top card of my deck. Oh, I wish. Uh, I'm going to leave it there. And then I'm good. All right. Uh, well, it's time to start. Uh, Greedo's out here to uh, shoot and be shot. So. Uh, Greedo is going to run into that incredibly scary engine over there that you've got, John. What engine? Um, so this Greedo is going <laughs> to uh, attack uh, Colonel Yularen, dealing three damage. And I believe they will defeat each other, him. huh? Uh, Greedo will also be defeated. Got a win defeated here. My discarded card from my deck. If it's not a unit, deal two damage to a ground unit. I'm not too attack. happy with you, Ryan. Let's see if it's a ground unit. Or it is a unit. Unfortunately, no reinforcement walker for me, and no damage to your chopper, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, because a unit left play, uh, I'm going to also ready a resource to fill that. Ryan, I'm just going to let you know that when you defeat one man with a mustache, you defeat all of us. <laughs> um, so, uh, that doesn't feel nice. All right. Well, uh, Xander just got some juicy card that he liked on top of his deck. So Chopper is going to attack Xander's base. That's one damage. And discard a card from the defending player's deck. Yep. If it's an event, exhaust a resource that player controls. Oh, it absolutely is. It's yes. aggression. Yes. <laughs> one of the three cards I've 
that I picked this bass for. <laughs> <laughs> it hurts. Uh, not going to lie about it. That's a bummer, dude. It really is. All I did was one more turn so I could use Cassie and to draw it, but here we are. No. Nope. Here we are using Iden Versio's action. Uh, if an enemy unit has uh, de been defeated this phase, Greedo was defeated in his one-on-one -on -one duel with uh, Colonel Ularen. Uh, I'll heal one damage off of my base. All right. Well, I no longer know what's on top of my deck, but an extra card is uh, never a bad thing, so I'll pay one and use Cassian to draw a card. Don't forget the Chopper also exhausted one of your resources. Yes. Yeah, we got yes. excited when the aggression came off. <laughs> yeah, we did. <laughs> were we excited? Were we having a great time? <laughs> all, some, of some we, all, were, four all of us. All four of us were absolutely having a good time. If you aren't having a good time, you're a joker. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll use uh, Grandma Tarkin's ability with the resource that Boba ready to add an experience token to this Imperial unit that I have in space, which is now a 4-3 shielded. That could be a problem. Are we going to let this happen? Who's we? Us. <laughs> I don't know what you got. <laughs> I got a resupply. Doesn't sound like you're part of the solution. Yeah. <laughs> I will be. You actually seem like a very big part of the problem. Let right me now. cook. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I uh, since I don't have my, my happy mustache man, I'm going to uh, just take the plan counter again. We're just going to keep selecting cards. I've got a card that's going to be hilarious against Joe later. Uh, don't <laughs> no. look. I want to show chat. Oh, uh, all right. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got yeah. this guy. I almost said it out loud. You can almost see it. <laughs> You'll see it later, I promise. I guess I have to put a card away now, huh? Yeah, we'll put that card away. All right, so you did that. Luckily, I didn't really need that resource that you happened to get rid of, because <laughs> Greedo's going to rejoin the party. No! Oh. With me. Wow, this guy is just switching sides all over the place. <laughs> just happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for making me a part of this. It's uh, certain we're also far, so I will continue to take the initiative counter. And you already took the plan? I took plan. I guess I will take blast again. Mm. And old Xander is left with nothing. Uh, <laughs> I will have to pass as well. Don't forget to damage your bases oh, over yep. there. Yep. Tell us. Um, but I don't want to. Yeah, I wasn't, <laughs> that's not part of the plan. Have you considered that? I know, I know yeah. help prevent this, don't worry. Chat, don't worry, Joe cannot see uh, you guys because you're behind us on yes, the monitor. Yes, it's yeah. true. <laughs> don't turn around, Joe. No. They're right behind you. Are, <laughs> are we in the regroup phase now? Yeah, we are. Yeah. Okay, Fantastic. let's regroup. Let's draw some cards. Let's group again. Oh, we Ooh. are so grouped. Wow, okay. I'm gonna resource this hyperspace foil vanquish. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I now I can look at them anytime. I think I've got to do that. I just just don't know. Joe, don't forget to put that uh, blast token back when you're oh, done with it. Thank yeah. you very much. No problem, bud. One. Thank you. Oh yeah, if we want to show off cards, we can put them right here too. Oh yeah. So. John, specifically, I'm calling that out for you as okay. you, you know, <laughs> show you up it. all the cool stuff. Everyone ready to go? Let's go. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, well, I, I do think, uh, Joe, that you are a concern at the table, given that you uh, continue to, you know, you're the only person without damage on your base. I'm going to say my catchphrase, I am not a threat. <laughs> <laughs> not a threat, Joe. Um, that being said, I'm not going to uh, come after you until you start coming after me. All right. um, so I'm going to continue to go after the person that is continually healing uh, their base. What? And swing for four in space. <laughs> oh, give me a break. <laughs> John. Um, someone said I didn't exhaust a resource. I did eventually exhaust a resource. They saw me do it, I think. I hope. I think I saw that. Yeah. Yep. I was going to attack John, but now I'm feeling a little bad. Thank you. But Iden is a problem. What? Mm -hmm. So we're going to do it anyway. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> And don't forget to discard top card. It's a bombing oh, run. Geez. Oh, that would have been I think good. it has to be controlled by that player. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I have to yeah, exhaust a resource. Um, I'm heartbroken. Before we do that, can we do a quick health uh, counter update? So starting with Ryan, we'll go around the circle. How, many, uh, how much health you have left on your base? I, I have 28 health uh, remaining on my base. I've taken two uh, blast counter damage. Ooh. I hate that you called that out because I now have to announce no one has touched my base. I have 30 health. I have taken 8 damage 
<laughs> eight damage on my 25 health base. Um, I'm not good at math, but the difference is um, a certain number. All right. Uh, I have taken three damage, bringing me to 27 health remaining. All right. All you. Oh, yeah. Well, I had a play, but now... Uh... <laughs> well, that's part of the game plan, too. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to cry. Um, I am going to help someone. I can't decide who. I think I'm going to help Xander. Um, oh, appreciate it. Because I can't help myself, I would like to entrench Ezra Bridger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, help. no. Uh, you're <laughs> such <laughs> a... I'm going to put it this way so I remember it's not mine. He um, is now a 6'7 with a great ability. Yeah, he is. Oh, that's scary. Oh, that. You know, it doesn't feel like help right now. Uh, <laughs> it's, help. it's not bad, but it doesn't feel like help. It's help. Um, I am going to go ahead and use Han's ability to get me another resource. Makes sense. Yep. Um, Classic Han. Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't really want to play any of these cards right now because they're going to get squished by that Ezra Bridger. Yeah. Um, Ryan, do you want two extra HP? No. Uh, I do enjoy two extra HP. Whoa. I think that Ezra Whoa. Bridger would probably come after me before I could benefit from that two extra HP. Uh, very unfortunately. Um, that being said, I do need to still take an action. Um, and so uh, I think what I'm going to do uh, is play a first legion snowtrooper Ooh. down here. It's a 2-3. We'll get plus 2 plus 0 in overall if it's attacking a damaged unit. I don't like anything that's happening on the board right now. <laughs> And Me neither, to be honest. <laughs> Wait, what's happening on your board? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Okay. We have Super Ezra over here. I want to wait, and I can't soft pass, but I do have a leader ability that effectively lets me do the same thing. So congrats on your HP, Chopper. Hey, there we go. <laughs> oh, golly. Well, uh, I, I was confident until Chopper exhausted my resource, and now I'm so, so in trouble. So I think I would like to just take this blast token and That's blast right. everyone else for one damage. Blast it again. One more damage all around. Um, well, I'm not super worried about those things. You got a lot of resources over there, Joe, and I don't. And I do want to hurt you. <laughs> he's got a leader. <laughs> Xander, he's got a leader coming out this I, That's this my big game also. plan. So Ezra's going to just hang out where Ezra is. Uh, but let's do three damage to your base, Joe. Oh, come because on. you're sitting at one damage. Get out of here. Don't. No, don't it's fine. I only got one little unit. It's just one drop. <laughs> he's just a little guy. He's just a little guy. <laughs> um, sounds great. Um, let me use my Grand Moff Tarkin ability, spend one, and we're going to put an experience token onto, uh, which one should we do? Let's uh, go all in on, no, no, let's make, let's make the little guy. Let's get uh, First Legion Starshipper to have one. We have Bail Organa. He can give XP tokens out. I wonder what that will go on. <laughs> Who's to say? I'm out. You're out. Uh, well, it's going to wait a little bit longer, but let's pay five, because I have five now, uh, and put Chewbacca in play. Nice. Ooh. That felt good. <laughs> that uh, might end up being a problem at some point. That's a, it's a later problem right now. We've got to focus on Cheer It. That, Cheer It is the... <laughs> <laughs> I, Cheer I is he's problem. not even here yet. By and large, I can agree with you. Him. Um, I was hoping that someone would have uh, attacked and the enemy unit would have left play, but uh, since I can't soft pass to allow that to happen, uh, I believe I'm going to just continue to take the initiative. Let's keep it right over here. Keep that first action. Mm -hmm. I was hoping to get similar value out of Aiden, but just don't have the time. I have so many resources and so many things I want to do with them. <laughs> and that Ezra has thrown them all off. <laughs> I'm gonna wow. just plan. Okay. I'm just biding my time. Plan. Biding my time. So I get to draw. Ooh. 
I like that a lot. Ooh, you got something good? I did. All right, well. Time for bamboozle. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's big bamboozling time. Oh, uh, these cards are all amazing. I have to get rid of one. It's not true. Don't lie to me. Uh, I will go ahead while you uh, figure that out, and let's go ahead and get rid of Chopper. Cause take one damage. Yep, I'll take one in return, and I know Hera's going to be a problem here in a, in a little bit. Mm. So let's get rid of those specters. Um, let's look at the top card of the deck. No resources. I think I'll leave that one there. Yeah, that's that's what I had. Oh, that's a good card. It was a great card. I peeked. It's going to be in the resources anyway, so it doesn't matter what you peek at. <laughs> Is it time to regroup? Uh, I believe it uh, uh, goes all the way back around to, uh, to Xander. Yes. Since we've all claimed counters. Yeah. yeah, and I think... Xander's out of juice. I'm out of juice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't got it in me. Uh, I will pass. Sounds okay. great. Mm. Uh, based on the current board state, I'd love to see uh, in the chat uh, who people think is going to pull off the win in this game. Yeah. See, let's see with some predictions. I'm, I'm not playing dead. I really am in huge trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not playing dead. That's what someone who's playing dead would say. Yeah, that's true. You're not wrong. But in this case, it's true. All right. And I have to get rid of resource. Let's get rid of this Jedi Agitator. So we've hit the point now. Joe, both of your leaders can come out. Both yep. of my leaders can come out now since we're on, I'm on five. Um, both of your leaders can come out. Neither of my leaders can come out. <laughs> uh, mine will take a second, but mm -hmm. it'll, it'll, they, they have the potential. All righty. Let's see how we're doing now. Um, let's go with... Just to see, just to see what happens. Uh, I'm gonna spend three, and I'm gonna say, Chewbacca, I am your father. Whoa! <laughs> so, uh, do I get to draw three cards, mm. or uh, is Chewbacca defeated? You can have those cards. I got, oh, thank yeah. you. Yeah. That's what I was hoping you yeah. would say. I'm not sacrificing my Chewie for you two. So I was <laughs> hoping the Do you have to say no? I, I will say, say no. no. Okay. No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Please, no. <laughs> All right. Hey, Bale is harder to defeat. Plus two HP from Chirrut. Oh, goodness. Oh. Um, I would love to play Grand Moff Tarkin. Nice. When played, I'm going to search my top five cards for up to two Imperials, and they get revealed. They get one in my hand. All right. Okay, we've got, we've got some Imperials. We're definitely getting this guy. Ooh, nice. And I think we're going to get... That guy is not Imperial. Inferno 4. Join me in space. Right I will join here. you in space. <laughs> Those other cards go on the bottom of my deck. Hmm. I just don't know what I should do. Uh, I will use Han for sure. Gonna do that. Now, let's get Chewy some time and get some damage on base. Uh, Ryan, I did let you draw three cards, so I'm going to just send three damage your way. I think that's totally fair, and I appreciate uh, tr transacting. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what a friendly <laughs> transaction. However, however that works. Uh, fantastic. Um, uh, I'm going to swing uh, in space uh, with four damage on Joe's base. It was not a pleasure transacting with you there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There he is. He's here. Oh boy! It's time. Again. <laughs> Hyperspace <laughs> turret. <laughs> have any? He's just a little guy. No units have been defeated this phase, huh? No, absolutely not. Weird. Um, I can do something funny. Would you guys like me to do something funny? Depends on who's caught. <laughs> who, like, benefits? who benefits? Who benefits? <laughs> and who's going to be at you, the? Uh, of let's just do it. <laughs> it's, it's me. It's me. One resource funny. I would like to play Force Lightning. Oh. oh! I will choose a unit. It loses all abilities for this phase. No! <laughs> no! Cheer no! It, yes! Cheer it now can be defeated like any old guy. Sorry. No, that you're not. That feels so good. No, it doesn't. I'm, that feels great. We all agree very it doesn't. Happy, very happy with that, um, that play. You're all welcome. Because <laughs> of that play, I think the right move for me yep. is to take Ezra and... Yep. Run into Cheer It for six. 
Goodbye. Um, goodbye. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, none of y'all Devastated. Can, none of y'all can see uh, Joe's face, but I bet this is in the five worst moments of his entire life. Yes. <laughs> That's a three there. Oh, let's look at the top card. Uh, of the deck. Emperor what Palpatine. could go wrong with putting all your eggs in one basket? I'm going to discard this you one. You didn't even have any eggs. <laughs> It's just the basket. I just oh, got you're... immediately incinerated. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, I, I hope lightning. that deck is not too uh, focused on specifically Chariot being in play. Uh, I've got backup plans. Good, good, good. Yeah. Uh, wow, I love that play so much. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm also going to get my, uh, my Boba resource back when that happened. You deserve it. Thanks. No, you don't. You didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cool. Um, I am going to uh, Grand Moff Tarkin. Uh, with that resource, uh, and give another plus one plus one to this first Legion Snowtrooper, which is now a four five. None of my business. That's too much. Hey, hair is here. Hair is here. The chopper's not. I have a feeling uh, I will be getting a taste of vengeance soon. So, <laughs> I, I, I did Versio is going to heal one damage off of my base. All right. Um, while I have oh, no. Here's the thing. Do what? I, should I play? <laughs> should I play? Should I take a take a little bit of a gamble here, a shot in the dark, and hope for the best? Because I know I don't know what's on top of my deck. I used Ezra and discarded it. Okay. So I'm going to pay three. For you're my only hope. Nice. Uh, Good and luck. just hope for the best. Uh, oh, not really worth it, but that's okay. <laughs> yep. We'll take we'll take Wolf out here. A three cost right. Wolf. Uh, a three cost wolf, healed, but bases can't be healed, which that feels great. That's okay with oh, me. That's yeah. significant. You already did your healing. You're yeah, great. <laughs> I don't care. Seems fine. Um, cool. I'm I'm worried about how many resources Joe still has, and I'm hoping that uh, Joe, you're going to use those in retaliation. Um, mm. well, I know where my retaliation's going. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fantastic. I can't um, believe you're going to beat up Xander's uh, Chewbacca. Uh, I'm going to bring uh, uh, Grand Moff Tarkin uh, into play as a leader. Okay. Wow. That. Snowtrooper is going to be tough here in a second, I think. All right. Unplayable as Tirit should still be out, right, till end of round? No, because he got zapped with Force Lightning yep. and lost all his abilities, including the one that kept him from being defeated. Mm -hmm. That is why I was so devastated, because I had a backup plan if uh, he was damaged enough, but uh, I didn't have that in mind. Yeah. yeah. All for one resource, too. For one resource, <laughs> yeah. All right. Well... I did predict something like this. Mm. Oh no. It's the ghost. Oh boy. Oh, oh bummer. Let's get some specter shields. That yeah. seems good. That's that's tough. That's a lot. That's gonna keep making it on attack too. Strong unit. Yeah, I think uh, I'd better duck and cover. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Ryan, will you pass me that initiative token, buddy? Uh, <laughs> happy, happy to, John. <laughs> um See that snow trooper lieutenant, or is the snow first legion snow trooper? First legion snow trooper. Thanks. I'm going to have Greedo. Oh, Ryan, did you cheat? Did you trigger Boba Fett's effect on a leader being defeated? Uh, that is possibly a great great point. Because he didn't get he didn't leave play. Fantastic yeah. catch. I Thanks, have chat. Resources mm. available. Thank you, chat. Um, so I'll send three to your first legion. Absolutely. Um, and let's discard one. It is not an it is not an event or an upgrade. That's a bummer. Rogue op but at least it has a little damage. Bail, go in there. <laughs> there goes my, uh, my hope that I would make no mistakes on this stream. <laughs> <laughs> it's recorded for all posterity, too. Yep. Yeah. Um, cool. Uh, let's, uh, I'm going to swing uh, Grand Moff Tarkin. Uh, Grand Moff Tarkin is going to send two damage into your base, uh, John. Two to my base? Yep. Well, and it will continue right. to add experience tokens to this First Legion Snowtrooper. Okay. It's none of my business. Bale is not going to go in there. Bale is going to give some XP to my new Voltron. Hmm. And it's all me. Uh, let's Han Solo ability and put this one into a resource and ready it. Oh man, it's getting so getting so tricky. All the all the maths. Um, I think that what needs to happen here is uh, first Legion Snowtrooper is going to take out Bale. Take out Bale. So that I can Oof. Boba that resource back. 
Mm. R.I.P. Bale. He fought hard. He did. Mm -hmm. All right. I've got a Harris swing. I wonder where that's going. <laughs> where? <laughs> John, are you sure? Take five. <laughs> are you sure? I'm sure. Oh man. So that brings you. I have 14 damage on my base, health. which means I have 11 health left. Wow. Pretty rude, Joe. Pretty rude. <laughs> Feels good though. I didn't it even does. damage your leader, by the way. I didn't do anything to him except just erase one little sentence. You're the reason <laughs> poor little Chirrut didn't get to shine. Um, I am going to bring out Han because I'm at six resources now. That's a, that's quite a board state over there. It's a board state, some would say. Hmm. Uh, I wouldn't worry about it, though. <laughs> um, well, you know, as soon as uh, he sees Han in play, he's got to go collect that bounty, so Boba Fett will also join the party. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's burn. Joe's taking the blast token. I'll turn this into a five. Sure, let's make some change here. Hmm. Let's bring out Cassian. Everybody knows it's coming. Might as well just, <laughs> Might as well just make it happen, right? <laughs> Always good to take, uh, take some time. Uh, Boba Fett is going to swing four on Joe's base. Uh, and completed the attack. Bale has left play, so also ready another two resources. Ooh, that's a lot. Okay. I think... I think it's well, Sanders' it's turn. Yep. What you got, um, buddy? Let's deal four to your base. Whoa! Oh, okay. card. Are we in the end game right now? I don't think we're that far, but I don't think we're far from it either. All right, let's stop ganging up on John now. <laughs> what? This you is like the perfect time. The more we gang up on John, the more Xander wins. No, that's not true. Poor John did nothing to anyone. I will spend <laughs> Give me a break. Uh, two on a uh, seasoned joker. shore trooper, also joining the party. Okay. I have to summon uh, the spiritual energy of chat pretty soon, I think. <laughs> um, I'm going to just swing with Han into John again, and I'll put the top card of my deck into play as a resource. I'm taking four damage. Four damage. So Not so happy with there. you, buddy. John, that, that's pretty low. I have two health left. Does Xander Ooh. have uh, a, a card that's just going to defeat me outright? Yeah, four left. Are four you guys going to let him get away with this behavior? Uh, I have to. Uh, I took a token. Uh, I am going to uh, play a power failure, getting rid of the entrenched and killing Ezra Bridger. Oh, nice. Defeating Ezra Bridger. That back. Oh, thanks. Nice. All right. He's no, he, I, I've, Take out the trench in front of him. Yes. And then uh, he's exposed. And he's exposed. <laughs> he's exposed. Uh, and so that you two are gone. Mm -hmm. uh, let's What's pay he doing? Three. What's he this doing? The Falcon. Oh. No. Which oh. enters play wow. ready. Wow. Uh, yeah. That Chewbacca really put in just enough. He uh, put in just enough. I am yeah. out of uh, actions and, and must take the plan to draw something that is not going to be uh, relevant. And you were three away, right? <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, I'm two away. Two actually. away. Oh. I, I even that's say. That's GG's, right? That I even drew one. And Whoa. I had to shoot first if I needed to. Oh. Wow, Xander. Right there. Great game. Oh, full handshake G there. Yeah. G. Wow. G. Well done. Thank you. Unexpected uh, snipe. Yeah, wow. That felt really good. Uh, <laughs> needed that. Needed the win today. <laughs> I didn't get a chance, man. No. I, I, needed I am to... so sorry, John. <laughs> I made this happen <laughs> in my area. You absolutely uh, flicked that first domino. Didn't I you? did. <laughs> when you I put show the my hand. damage over there. Oh yeah, show the hand. Talk about the game plans that you're gonna have. So, so I had the, the chat first. Everyone who chose Xander, uh, yeah, is the winner. Uh, yeah, thank you. Good job. I'm Go sorry I let you down. Possible. I was so nervous. I actually to get that sixth resource to bring them both out had to put a for a cause for a cause I believe in down. Whoa. So I was like, if this doesn't turn out and you have removal somewhere, I'm oh done. My gosh. Game over. 
Uh, so it just, yeah, luckily ran out. And of course, you knew I had a good sentinel in my hand, too. <laughs> <laughs> um, of course. I had Emperor's Royal Guard ready to Ooh. come out and, and jump in front of a few attacks. Of course, you had Wolf. He's a saboteur, so yeah. maybe not, but... Yeah, you had a bunch of saboteurs that were scaring me because yeah. I was ready to pile a bunch of shields on Hera with the ghost. Wouldn't have mattered with the saboteurs. Yep. I had Wing Leader ready to give her two XP, a resilient ready to make her even more resilient, and then our favorite Twin Sons and game card in Redemption to heal a bunch there. So Dang. to clarify, the mm -hmm. game ends at the end of the round in yep. which... Uh, or end of the phase in which a player is eliminated because I was eliminated. Yep. Um, Xander also heals five damage off of his base. Bring me to the, zero. The game ends and Xander has a completely pristine base. Yes. You had time to get the mops out and clean up. Yeah. Was, uh, just, yeah. <laughs> that was very nice. Good games. Yeah, good games. Here we can rotate back around. And, and that, that was a breezy yeah. 50 minutes or so. Really? F yeah, that we're we're under an fast. hour for the stream? It's wow. A, it's 150 right now. Wow. With yeah. the rules explanation. Yes. yes, and I yeah I healed the five, but I was still ahead by two on Ryan, so that's yeah. what I was nervous about. With uh, I didn't know what you had in your deck that you were going to smack me with. I, well, it was really the Chewbacca the sentinel Chewbacca. on the ground. Otherwise, yeah, that I was big, yeah. Uh, more of those uh, attacks would have definitely gone towards you if, if Chewie wasn't there. That's fair, yeah. Um, John, do you regret bringing a 25 health base? No. Okay. No, I, don't, I, I didn't use it, though, because the only valid target for most of the game was Ezra. And he was not bothering me at all. So I never had any <laughs> units on the board for him to attack. So no regrets. I strongly still recommend uh, bringing your favorite 25 health base. Mm -hmm. I think 25 health bases uh, can work really, really well. They can. Um, because it affects the, uh, the opening meta of, I'm already starting behind everyone. Mm -hmm. oh, for yeah. sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. I had someone absolutely demolish me with the, the same 25 health base this weekend, just ruined my entire game plan of the Twin Suns game. And I was like, oh yeah, that's, that's really good. Can't complain. Well, Xander, we officially have to respect you now. Yeah, yeah. it feels really good. I'm yeah. putting this, I log in this. If this, is the worst, <laughs> yeah. if this is the worst day of your life, this has to be up there in the top five for the best day of my life. Uh, but we had one more question, which was, for a number of players for this game, I know we've talked about it a little bit that it's multiplayer, obviously, but what, what is the like ideal number of players when sitting down for Twin Suns? Ideal is four, for yeah, sure. Four? For sure. Um, it's, I think you could play this with three players and have a great time. Mm -hmm. In our experience, going above four tends to extend the play time a lot. Okay. Um, and I, if you're I love, into that, that's fine. Yeah, but, yeah. yeah. That's up to your play group, of course. Um, but I love, love a uh, four-player game. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Well, I think that was the last hanging question we had from the chat. Uh, so thank you three for joining me today so I could crush you. Uh, <laughs> and thank you all for joining us at home. And we'll catch you all next time. Happy Valentine's Day. We'll see you later. <laughs>